is spring and it's beautiful and it's my favorite time of the year. I love flowers and when I'm nervous, usually I'll plant flowers and work in the yard. And here lately, the last few years off and on, I've gotten nervous a few times. Uh, this is my yard. These rocks and stuff, if it hadn't been for friends, young people helped to cut in some of these rocks, they wouldn't be here. And when someone volunteers, I always go get more rocks. I've got herbs over here, don't even know what they all are, you know, but this is my yard. And really, for the last week or so, I've been hanging real close to here because tomorrow I go to court. And as much as you hope everything turns out well, there's always that outside change. But I think the spirits and the gods are with me, and uh, I think we're going to win this year. And I think we're going to win it for the people, because this is so much more about the people that really need it and stuff than it is just me alone. This is uh, for the whole nation, as far as I'm concerned. I got crystals, you know. I just like crystals. I think they bring good energy to the yard, just like the flowers do, and the trees, and they're from this earth. So, I like crystals. You know, uh, I like the wisteria because it's a local vine that grows wild, and we just brought them out of the woods. Down here, there's blueberries, and here in June, we'll be eating all the blueberries we want. That's right. Down at the bottom of the hill, I ain't started it yet, but they will be a garden down there with probably tomatoes and peppers and uh, some squash. And uh, I know pumpkins for the grandkids got seeds from their pumpkin last year. We're going to plant some watermelons and cantaloupes and a few other things. But this is my home. And you'll find that I love my home. I love my grandchildren, my daughter. I love uh, my family, and I consider my family, my friends that I know that's around me, and the people that I communicate with on a regular basis, and you know, to interact with. And I'm very fortunate to have my friends and my family. And without them, life would really be, I'd be alone. And everybody needs someone they can love, and uh, so they won't be alone. You know, but uh, this is it. I mean, I mean, every bit of this year, when we got here years ago, 20 years ago, uh, me and Gene, that's who I grow for, it was all pine trees. And we cut them down and took the money, put back into play, and planted every tree and bush that we could find. We got bushes from old home places, and people would give them to us. And, uh, a lot of the wildflowers came from the pines and stuff down below us. But uh, this is home. You know, these pines and stuff. I hope my grandkids' kids and their kids someday walk through here and smell the flowers and remember Papa and, and how hard Papa and Grandma worked to get this place for us. Because one day this will be theirs. I mean, my granddaughters. As often as I can, I get them to help me plant the flowers because that way they learn about how to plant stuff and they become part of the flower bed because they help. And, you know, I got two wonderful granddaughters, uh, well, five and eight. They both go to school and they both love their grandpa and we do things together and, uh, what would the world be about them? You know, I mean, it'd be, you know, if that all just wouldn't have a good reason to plant all these flowers with his grandkids and, and family. Irving, the one taking the pictures, he's helped me uh, go to Locust Post and work in the yard, and uh, I worked some harder times too. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I get a volunteer, I have to continue to work 
hard because you can. No, he hadn't worked me hard. Look at the rocks and stuff. You know? And I brought Urban Law rocks over to his house so that he can beautify his place. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this battery's buried. I'm barely holding out. I'm getting a few more flowers. Oh, yeah. You can keep talking if you want me. But here, you know, I'm comfortable here. What's up, girl? All the lilies, there was lilies everywhere, but then the rain just knocked them off and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Most of these started to bloom. You see the rock bed? <laughs> you gonna be able to get that more in here at all, or? Uh, yeah, I know. It's more work for some of these things. That's a pretty lily there. i never seen one that color. What you call that one, you know? I don't know what you call it. Huh. So they got all nice stuff. Yeah. Well, these are neat little things. I see usually they're all the way up and down. Yeah. You know, you want to look at the blueberries, see what kind of shit's there in there? Yeah. They look better today than it was the last time I looked, so they're kind of picking up a little bit, see? Uh-huh. So, yeah, they didn't get yeah, this. Yeah, what? Another two weeks off anyway or something? Was it the middle of July last year or what? Uh -huh. I, I keep thinking these things supposed to be done, and they never is. Yeah, I think the rain got them in tune. No, I don't know. That's what I tell myself every time I build some of these flower beds. You just make them all work. For me, <laughs> in doing this stuff, I like them to grow and give them something to do. And it does create a, you know, a garden paradise like. Sit in it, like this, you know, I'm putting no seat on this side over here on this one. Eventually I'll head it to, you know, one person sit on one side, another person sit on the other side. And, but if I like the looks of it, I buy it. If it's the annual and will grow kind of in the sun. Mm -hmm. And if it lives, it lives. And if it don't, I'll plant something else. It's doing good, dude. It's doing nice to start with. Yeah, well, thanks for the tour. I'll let you get to breakfast.